we were, we were ready to go, so we go, go. Oh, go. are we ready to go? We're, are we ready to go? I mean, we're off. We're on now. We go. Oh. Welcome to the set review. <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong spot. Hey, <laughs> uh, like looks behind. Welcome. That sounds like me. Oh man. man, man. Anyway, anyway, welcome to the set review. We're on red now. We gotta, we gotta bust these. Yeah. Uh, uh. Hey guys, it's Act of Treason. Two to red, sorcery. King troll tarred creature into untarred. Untap it, gets haste. I mean, yeah, it's a. This card has been pretty much fine. It's. In limited, it, it's it's weird, but it's also fine. I'd give it a two. Yeah, two, three, but. Very. It is such an old card. We've seen this so many times. It's Act of Treason. Let's steal their bomb Let's, and then make it our bomb. For, for like two seconds. Turn. But, what, what can you do? Next is Alpine Moon. One red mana for an enchantment that's a rare. As Alpine Moon enters the battlefield, choose a non-basic land card name. Lands your opponent's control with the chosen name, lose all land types and abilities, and they gain tap at one mana of any color. Don't, <laughs> don't take this card, like, ever. It's bad. It's, it's something. It's, dude, it's literally worse Blood Moon. I mean... That was Blood Sun, blood. but this is, is it blood? this. That was Blood Moon. No, Blood Blood Sun is the strictly worst Blood Moon. Oh. But anyway, this is don't, a one. Don't, this is if zero. I could give it lower than a yeah, one, I'd give zero. it. I give it. A, it I'd give it lower stars. than one. Don't pick those guys. It's bad. Just don't. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Apex of Power, seven oh. red, red, red sorcery. Exile the top seven cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may cast non-land cards exiled this way. If this okay. spell is cast from your hand, add ten mana of any one color. <laughs> I almost want to take this. <laughs> almost. I want to give it a one. It's ten mana. <laughs> it's ten mana. And if this is any, any level of aggressive of a format... Even if it's just a mid rangey grindy format, you're still not getting the ten mana. <laughs> a lot of mana. I don't even know, like, if it'll win. Just think, you the think game of how many times play. you've actually seen a Josu Vest get kicked in Dominaria draft, and that'll tell you how often you're going to cast this spell. Huh. And then, a okay, lot. don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then think about that you exile the top seven cards of your library. And sure, you can cast them, but you only have ten men to cast them. With. But by the time you get to this card, you're only gonna have seven cards left in your library. This is gonna mill you. This <laughs> is like a one. And the, the last seven cards are gonna be the last seven lands in your deck. This is a one. <laughs> this could potentially be a two, but try not to play this. It's, uh, it's, it's really funny, I, but it's really not going to happen. I can't see a universe in which this is a two ever. When, I mean, it wins the game if it ever gets there. Speaking but... of things that will never be a two, because of this, but for an opposite reason, Banefire, Red X Sorcery Rare. Banefire deals X damage to any target. If X is five or more, this spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. This is going to win you several games. Yeah, that, I, I, I'd say it's, it's, a high, it's a high four or five. Guys, here's the thing. Every other removal we label is four. Even though it probably could go higher. Guys, this also kills your opponent. Like, uh, by the way. This is a much better use of your ten mana. <laughs> by, true. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> by the way. Yeah, no, this, this guy, this, this is something. This is a clear single to red. This is splashable for red. Like, this card is great. It's just one red mana to and and any other amount. Yeah, this, guys, you gotta play this. It's like just, it's like it's like a different kind of fight with fire, right? Like, it doesn't have the same like super good top end, but top end's really powerful, and the lower end also does a lot of work too. Yeah, heck, just, even the lower end can deal the last like it can like you can play three mana shock your opponent to kill him. Like that's totally a thing. Like, yeah, yeah, just just kill people with this. So, <laughs> it's, good, it's good, guys. Can't take that. Please take that card. Uh, Bogert brute. Two red Bogart. Bogart. I don't know, dude. It's they don't have <laughs> Bogart, Bogarte Brutal. All right, just 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 read the two and a red three two Goblin Warrior with Menace. Yeah, okay, good, good card. 
Uh, I mean, Curse Minotaur was very good in Omnic Limited. Yeah, this was this, good, this was good in Origins Min Limited. So yeah, I, it's I, it's I, still good. A three two with minus for three. I I I'd say pick it up. So three. Yeah, three. So three and a half. Three. Very it might even be higher, but like it's just good body with good ability. Like you can't complain. Plus it's in red. Going to be the aggressive color anyway. So get that last point of damage in. <laughs> uh, we have Catalyst Elemental two and a red uh, for an elemental creature. It's a common. Sacrifice Catalyst Elemental, add red red. Oh, else is a two two. Um, I don't know how to feel about these this card. cards. Have never been good in limited. I yeah, they've never really been good in standard either. I mean, we're not even talking about that. Like this card has never <laughs> been good. Let's go for a good card for real. But like we had what Vessel it's of a, Blood it's from. Gray ogre. We had Vessel of Blood from Innis Shadows over Innistrad. Vessel. Of... It was the red uh, one. Ye yeah, yeah. Vessel anyway, that literally was like two mana, and, and they sacrifice it later and get what three or four. Like, yeah, which it, was fine, but it really wasn't that good. It, no, you you played it if you had a big thing you wanted to ramp out. Yeah, like, this as is soon as like, possible. If you play this on turn three and you get some like a six drop out in turn four. Okay. Yeah, it's fine, but it's also a gray ogre yeah. that has potentially just no upside. Yeah, so. I, I'm thinking like two. I. I don't even want to play a gray. Or I don't want to play a gray ogre ever. Yeah. I want to say like a high one at best. Yeah. So I'm gonna round it up just because I still think it's a creature that's potentially being able to play and can probably give you some sick tempo advantage in some of these games. So could see play, but eh, don't take too many of these up. Oh, dude, can you imagine like someone getting like five of those and just playing them all out and then, dude, that's how you get ten mana. What are we doing? Oh my god, it's a five. <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> Everything's a five. Red's a five. No, okay. Crash anyway. through. Single red. Creatures to control gain trample until end of turn. Draw a card. Sorcery speed. Yeah, wait, wait, okay, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. It could potentially push through some damage. It's it, it's not super good, though. I'm thinking two. One, two, one, two. Uh, it, it, given how red and white especially have, like, have looked, you're giving trample through a bunch of one ones. Mm, man, giving that extra one point of damage over one. <laughs> just a, oh, yeah. I, I don't see the value in this yeah, too much. It's probably just a one. Could, yeah. I mean, it's a cycler, so, you know, you can put it in your deck and it's essentially just going to replace it itself, but... Yeah, it didn't really see much play in Almanquette either. Yeah, the card's just not exciting. Dark Dweller Oracle. One in a red for a 2-2 two -two Goblin Shaman. Rare. For one generic mana, sacrifice a creature. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. You still pay its cost to blah blah blah. I it's a bear with upside. Oh. Is it? <laughs> okay, it's the now, bear now, with it's gonna really go, weird upside. This is going back to like the Phallid Omnivore thing where it's like, oh Phallid Omnivore is good because you can just sacrifice a cre the creature that they're killing. The only difference is you also have to have the mana to pay to cast the to I mean it's only one mana to activate. Yeah, but, but now we have to have the mana to cast turn, it. You also can't cast, like, if it's during your opponent's turn and they have a sorcery speed removal, it's not like you can cast anything at instant speed unless it's an instant. Yeah, and this then you have to mean, luck off of the top. I don't know. Yeah, this card is... I, I give this a two, because you might pick it up just because it's a bear. Yeah, this <laughs> you're picking up upside. for a bear. <laughs> the best rare bear you've ever seen. No, it's not. It's bad. I mean, it's that's not, Goreclaw. It's not that good, guys. Anyway. Yeah, just it's a two. Okay. Demanding dragon. I want it now. Three red <laughs> red for a five five dragon with flying. Yeah, okay, I'm playing this card. When there's a battlefield, it deals five damage to target. Okay, hold on, where is that button? Okay, so guys, let me explain to you let me explain to you what's going on here. Guys a five five dragon for five. It's good. It's good. Alright, now let me explain to you. What this sucker does that you're missing out on. There's not another 5 mana flyer in, in red, but it's not a 5-5. Five five. Also, this has the potential to just straight up lava axing your opponent. Guys, it's a card Punisher is, card. This it's card the is best fantastic. Punisher card they've ever printed. Aside from maybe Vexing Devil. This card is great. But I love this card. I love this card. This is, guys, this is something you're... This is clear signal in the red, right? Like, you can't... You can't argue with this. Yeah, no. It's, it's very good. I'd give it a, I'd give it a, I'd give it a high four or five, yeah. Obviously it's not like, 
it's, you're going to win the game that the turn you play it, but no. It I mean, you could. Take over the game. You could. You won't take... I mean, you, you, yeah, you could. <laughs> the lava acts in the face on an empty board is something, but... Um, but it's... it's it, it won't take over the game by itself. It will be a pretty good tempo swing. Yeah, no. It, uh, either way. Um, clear up the board, it, it, like... Oh, it's just, it's also just a five mana five five flyer, which is always good. I'm excited. Next we have dismissive pyromancer, one and a red for a two two human wizard rare. Why do I keep getting a bunch of rares? Rare bears. Rare bear. Rare bear. Anyway, uh, it's a human wizard. I already said that. You can tap, you can tap it and a red and for one red, discard a card, draw a card, so you rummage. Mm -hmm. And for two red, for two and a red, tap it, sacrifice, dismissive, power match, and deals four damage to target creature. I think this is pretty good. This is really good. So, obviously yeah, it's a bear, so stats are fine. The yeah. first ability is what you're really looking at. Just being able to rummage every turn is really powerful late game. So this card is good early, the card is good late, and it's got a removal on itself. Like, sure, you have to sacrifice it before damage kills quite a few things in the format that you're worried about. So, yeah. I don't think it kills... It's... I'm thinking four. It kills the the three three ain't mythic rare angel. It kills mm -hmm. pretty much every common we've seen. Doesn't I mean it doesn't um, kill fi uh, what is it fire fiery war dragon? I think that's uh, that's, that's the nickname I'm calling it. What is it fiery axe? demanding dragon? What's the what, what was the axe jo joke I just made? Lava axe. Lava axe? La it's lava dragon. No, that's already card. Either way, Either it doesn't way. it doesn't kill some it doesn't kill some big bombs, but it kills a lot in the format. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm thinking four. I say, it, it I would say a three, just because it's something you do want to pick up. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't first pick this. Um, I consider it. Right. That's a lot of value on a two. Too. There's a lot of better uncommons and stuff though that you would probably might want to first pick yeah you might you might see removal and probably might take it over this card the issue i do yeah. like this card has kind of removal. I'm gonna be, i might be proven wrong though yeah and i like run into like like five of these just drawing their entire deck in two turns you're like oh okay yikes double cast red red for a sorcery when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn copy that spell you may choose new targets for that copy so here's what you do. You get 12 mana, and then you cast this, and then into Apex of Power, and you exile 14 cards from your library, and you have 20 mana to cast everything with. It's going to happen at some point. You're going to blow yourself. <laughs> Look, that's not the issue here. <laughs> oh, hypothetically, you draw seven cards at the beginning of the game, right? You have 10 okay, turns. We're not doing the math. It was a meme. <laughs> 17. No, but you said if you do it on turn 12, you'll With still have... With your 16 Catalyst oh, Elementals. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Format breaker, guys. Built the Catalyst <laughs> Apex double cast broken deck. We just, built, we just built the next standard best deck. I don't know. This is like a one or a two for me. This is one. Well, uh, maybe a two. I you, can double a... Cast, you can double cast a removal spell. Yeah, like Lightning Strike. There's some value yeah. in this card, but be really careful. It's not good. Yeah, you need some support for to be running at least even one of these. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. Next we have Dragon Egg. Two and a red, zero two, Dragon Egg. <laughs> It has Defender. Uh, when Dragon Egg dies, create a 2-2 red dragon creature token with flying, and it also the token also has, for one red mana, this creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. So it if it dies, it makes the dragon with fire breathing. Okay. There's a lot of things that this card is doing here. First off, it's a 2-2 flying dragon with fire breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Eventually, good creature. Eventually. This is a sack outlet. There is some sack mechanics in this set that could... There's also some reanimation effects in this set. So this card strict makes uh, Demanding Dragon so bad. Don't play Demanding Dragon now, because you don't want to have your opponent sack. <laughs> no, no, no. This card's pretty good. I'd say this is a three. That, yeah, you want to think... pick these up. Mm -hmm. Definitely something. It's a really... It's not very good for tempo, obviously, because it's a two and a red for a zero two. So, yeah, but it's a free blocker that gives you something that will just get a bunch of damage yeah. in it, potentially. Yeah, it's it, it's it's very... It's a weird card. 
definitely think yeah. that I see it. Oh, look. Hey, guys. Uh, remember this? It's uh, Electrify. Three in a red. Instant. Deal four damage to our creature. This was very good, Nomen Cut. It's probably very good here. I'm probably yeah. not, like, as good as most of the other removal spells, but definitely, I'm thinking It's like high common dome, dome something for four. Mm. High three, low four for me. I'd say high three. All right. Because it's one of those cards that you would... You would all, you would consider first picking because mm -hmm. it's such good removal. There had to be uh, some pretty good cards in the in this in the pack for me to not want to pick this up though. Yeah, so def definitely could go up, but yeah, no, something you're yeah, you're... Okay, a high three, I'd say. Oh my god! Fiery finish. Four red, red. What is with such high end red cards? They want you to sack all your catalysts, dude. <laughs> Okay, four red red, sorcery, uncommon. Fiery finish deals seven damage to target creature. How much are we paying for removal? This kills literally everything in the format. I will say that. It does. It really Except does. Except the one indestructible creature. If they get that indestructible black creature out, you're dead. What was the indestructible black The creature? one where you have to, like, sacrifice an artifact, otherwise it dies. Oh, phylactery lich, yeah. <laughs> Other it, than that, it, the... this kills every creature in this format. But, I can pick up one of them. Yeah. I think it's one of those, like, high threes take again. Care, take care of their Colossal Dreadmaw. That's, like, the only answer that Red will get to Colossal Dreadmaw. Yeah. I think it's definitely one of those high threes, low fours, but don't pick up too many of these. Like, that's so much mana, and it's... High I, I was going to go high two, because you only really want to pick up one. Yeah. We'll average it out and say three. Removal spell, because everything in the format, but six mana is pretty expensive. Yeah. So be really careful with this card. I'm just a, I'm just a removal man, man. I got any time I see removal, I'm like, is this good? Wasn't this printed literally last set? Yep, with art, different art. Actually, I actually don't know which art I like better. Um, I think I like the other one better because it looks like just somebody churned into a fire elemental and don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I was like, like every time I see that card, I can think it was like, like it's like just Sonic on fire, just running down like here. <laughs> but um. Uh... This card's fine. It's not that we, good. You didn't actually read off what it is. Guys, it's a fire. It's fire. It's three red red for a five four, guys. It's it's fine. Stats are fine. A, I'd say it's a two. You pick up one. Yeah. Nah, I don't, don't, don't. Don't. This is... This card sucks. Don't be surprised to see this is like the last four cards. In the, one of the last four cards. Don't, don't, yeah, it's, and don't be surprised to like run against it either. It's just like, it's fine. Yeah. You'll see it's body. It's in red, so you don't get much more power and compass than that, but... Goblin Instigator. One in a red for a 1-1. One, one. Goblin Rogue. When Goblin Instigator enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. I really like this card. What's with all the creatures that are just reprints of spells? I don't know. Magic's been doing that a lot lately. Because it's, it's just Dragon Fodder. It's Dragon Fodder. It's Krankos Command. You you can now run three Krankos, three of that of that essentially the same card. But this is better than those because you can get it off of like Cavern of Souls, or you can reduce the cost of it. Except it's worse. Or you can those, recur it. It's essence scattered. All right. Except Blue what? It gets, Wait, what? <laughs> it gets essence scattered. It's bad. It gets hit by one extra. It, it dodges guys, more counters. Guys, than it's it. guys, it's fine. <laughs> It's, oh it's perfectly good. It's two mana I'd, for a 2-2 two, two worth of body on multiple creatures. I'd say this is a high 2 for me. High 2. I'm thinking there too. Might, might round it up to 3, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2. Perfectly fine I'd, body. You get multiple creatures. And it's a token synergy format. A lot of wide boards. Could be good for a sack you, outlet. Just something to sack? Yep. I think you sack the actual creature before the before the token, though, because it can uh, make potential for 8 to come back. Depends on the token artwork. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's that's how I play my games. Right, is there a better uh, way to play them? Ignore value. What's the art like? Hold on, you're saying that value isn't in the art? H hold on. Anyway. Okay, guys, let's let's pick up a good goblin. Goblin motivator, single red for a 1-1. One -one. But you said 1-1s one are usually bad. Yeah, but this guy gives everything else haste. <laughs> guys, this card's really good. Pathway initiate, uh, pathmaker initiate was... Perfectly fine in Amonkhet, although that was an incredibly aggressive format. But it was still very good, even in like super not really aggressive decks. You mean wait, this are you talking about just Goblin Slider? 
Bloodlust. Yes. I think it was just the two one much. that was like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, yeah, I, I mixed them up. Who cares? Yeah. But it, this is just a goblin version of that, and there are goblin synergies in this set, so this is perfectly fine. Yeah. I Obviously, you don't want like five of these, but no, because um, it's a one mana one. Yeah, one. no. I think I think this is actually probably a three. Uh, yeah. Just being able a, to a three. But here's like. <laughs> If you get obviously if you get this down down in turn one, you basically win the game, right? Like you push through so much damage, right? Even just like a single fire elemental. Like you play that on turn five, you're attacking them for five on that turn. Dude, do we need a round? I, I, I'm a three person, but if you think I'm it's a slow, two, because it's I as much as I liked um, Bloodlust Insider in Almond Cut Limited, mm -hmm. and this is just strictly better because it's a goblin. I still never saw... Mid I, I, there were some that read people who just didn't play it. Because hmm. it was still just a one-mana one-one. That's I fair. I, I'd, give, I, I'd, I'd be safe saying high two, but I'm going right. to go three. All right, well, we'll go with high two. I'm a big fan of this card. I think it's very good, but... Definitely, definitely, definitely... It's, it's a get-you kind of card, right? It's like, uh, yeah. oh, oh, by the way, yeah, you're dead. But speaking of goblins... <laughs> Here is Goblin Trashmaster. Two red red three three goblin warrior. Other goblins you control get plus one plus one. Sacrifice no goblin, destroy target artifact. Ignore that last line of text. That's not really gonna come into play. Uh in, in limited. Usually. Maybe with the thopters, but I was gonna say, like, hold on a sec, because we already talked about there's a similar card in black. It was one less mana, one less power and topness, but it affected zombies and skeletons. I'm thinking it's probably on the same power level. But that last ability is kind of interesting because, like, like I said, like there's a lot of thopters and stuff. We haven't even gotten to the artifact section yet. I'm sure there's yeah. some artifacts you want to blow up. That you're just getting it. If it's for the thopters, though, only you're just trading one for one creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, this is better than the three mana two two because a four mana three three can do so much more. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking about it makes your goblin instigators into two twos. Yeah, I'm thinking probably around a three for this card. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, Definitely. Another if you're already ahead, if you're already heavy, all right. So here's here's what's gonna happen here. So my what it's gonna happen is I my camera's gonna work all of a sudden, and he's not gonna he's gonna freeze. As you can see, he's got some user setting issues. You are. You can call oh. your right now. You know I'm a. We're, we're, we'll, we'll be right back. Oh, we'll we'll. we'll We'll be right back. We're gonna, we're gonna work some technical issues out. You just... My screen froze. Yeah, you just you went robotic. Yeah, we're editing can. that out. Or you're editing that out. Yeah, yeah we're, uh, that, was, that was fun. Alright, welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry uh, about the cut. That's like where, the where second we? technical difficulties thing I'm gonna have to edit in. The, the six video series. <laughs> Let's go to three. That's yeah, where we're at. Uh, I think that's fair. Perfect. Anyway. Why is this not... There we go. Oh my goodness. Guys, I love this card. I miss this card. It's Gutter Snipe. Two and a red for a 2-2 two, two Goblin Shaman. Whenever you cast an insert sorcery spell, it deals two damage to each opponent. So you're rewarded for playing the game. Yay! That's my favorite thing to play. It's 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 very good. I give it a three. You want to pick it up? Yeah, you can win games on its own if you have enough instant yeah. sorceries. Get that last point of damage in, and it's a three man two two. We talked about how stats aren't really that good, but uh, it's got an ability that pretty much makes up for that. So I bolt I bolt your face, and then you take two more, so it's five to the face. <laughs> Dude, good times. Uh, next we have Havoc Devils. Two red red, four three trample. I love this art. I love it too. I like the card. I like the card as well. Three? Three. It's a trampler in red. Pretty good ability. That red kind of doesn't get too much. It's been picking up a little recently, but um, no, definitely like a fine body with a fine ability and picking a few of these up at common you're perfectly happy with. So Yeah. Yeah, definitely a very good card. Hostile Minotaur. Three and a red for a three through the haste. Okay. It's no on crop crasher. It's no on crop. God, nothing will ever be an on crop crasher. 
But it's fine. Yeah. We give this a two. Think about it, too, too. Uh, body's fine. Four mana, three, three. It's not the best, but Haste tries to make up for it, but... Mm, hey, it's not... If I had one more, it, it, had one more toughness, a, I'd be rating this a lot higher. But three, three. It can fits. it can mess with combat. Here's a surprise attacker. Mm -hmm. Swing out. Three, three, four is just hard. All right. Yeah. What we got what we got here. Inferno Hellion. I don't know why I've been doing voices, but anyway, it's a three, three and a red for a seven three, with trample. At the beginning of each end step, if Inferno Hellion attacked or blocked this turn, its owner shuffles it into their library. The, from anywhere. For, if if it attacked or blocked this turn. Right, but as long as those conditions are met from anywhere. So, like, if it died to, like, a block, would this... I, I, I believe it has to stay on the field for it for the trigger to activate. God, I hate magic sometimes. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Now I don't know if I want to run... I mean, I probably want to run this. It's a lot of just, power and trample. No matter what, it's a four mana seven three. Even if it, even if it, you do have to shuffle Wait, it back, we just talked about or a four if it three dies, day. what am I talking about? I for some reason those stats didn't match up. I thought it was five mana. No, this is great. This is perfectly okay. So this, yeah, I'm I'm down for three on this card as well. Probably a higher three, wrong. but um, yeah, that's a lot of power. Get through extra points of damage. But get that. even if it dies, who cares? You swung in for seven and probably killed a couple things. Dude, that th if someone ever plays a 3-1 against me, I'm conceding. <laughs> There's one of those in this set. <laughs> no, we talked about it earlier. There's in white. I can't remember. I'm conceding. Laughless Dragon Queen. 4 red red for a 6-6 six, six dragon. Flying. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under Eve control, create a 5 it's a five. Just give it five stars already. Okay, hold on. Uh, now, now that I've given it five stars, let's finish reading what the card does because we haven't finished that part yet. Also, you're the one that trailed off. I mean, I was too focused on that middle ability. I'm having a day. Uh, one and a red dragons you control get plus one, plus zero oh, until end of turn. Guys, this card is bonkers. Even if you cast just one dragon like, when Lathless is on the field, yeah. you are happy and in control, and you will kill them. Even if you don't have another dragon in the deck. This is a 6-6 six, six flyer with worse fire breathing, but come I mean, on. that's what they've been doing with fire breathing for a while now. Dragon Egg is only worded that way because it's a reprint. Yeah. Like, this, this card is fantastic, guys. Play it. it it, it just, just it. pick it up, pick it up, and Every run with day. it. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's Lava Axe. Best flavor text in the game. Four in red for a sorcery. Common. Lava Axe deals five damage to target player Planeswalker. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> it, it's... I. This will just end a game. Guys, this is, this is like a one-of. But oh my goodness, is this one of gonna kill him? It's five damage. It's five damage to the face. If they have a planeswalker and you desperately need that shit dead, it can kill it too. I'm thinking like three for this card. I'd say a three as well. Uh, don't pick up too many because five mana is pretty. I'd say red. two at max. Yeah, two at max probably fine. Dude, just ten damage. Like full deck is lava axe. You just wait till turn five and then you just play four. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh man, I'm so that's that's exciting. I can't wait for that deck. Don't have man. All right. Um, <clears throat> lightning man. Red, red for a three one. This spell cannot be countered. Oh man, this card is standard playable already. I uh, can't be blocked by blue creatures. White and a red. Fire breathing. Yeah. Okay. It's the new. It's the next in the horsey line. I mean, that's that's a that's a three for me. I, yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, and it kills the seven one, God, or seven three. My bad. Yeah, so, yeah, it kills the seven three. But then six damage goes to your face. Oh, just, 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 we haven't gotten to that part yet. I, I right, haven't. Right, I haven't resolved right. damage yet. All right. Speaking of things that kill the seven three, here's lightning strike. 
One in a red, instant, uncommon, lightning strike, just three damage to any target. It's good. It's a three or four. I, I just, just take it. It's just great. This is first pick, honestly. They tried to make it worse in Amonkhet as open fire for one more mana for the same effect, and it was still first pickable. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this card is, like, overfished. Like, this is, like, before you open the pack, be like, I'm getting lightning strike. Yeah. Like, that, like this card's so great. Like, even even if it's not removal, right? Somehow it's not removal. It's three damage to their face. It's flexible removal, guys. Like, Again, with, gutter, with, gut, with gutter snipe, it's five damage five to face. Damage. Or kill a thing, two damage to... It's just good. Just it's pick just, it up. Guys, do it. Build your own Lava Axe, Gutter Snipe, and Lightning Strike. Still five mana. It's the same amount of mana, yeah. yeah I was like, wait a minute. Hold on just a second. Okay, Onake Ogre. Two and a red for a 4-2. There's so many bears in the format. There's a lot of things that trade with this. And didn't even have trample. Like, it, it's like one of those things where... Like, I still it, say this is a two. Yeah. but It's like, it can trade up, but it's probably going to trade down. Yeah. It's just it it'll it'll set up some good blocks for you. Like might might put your opponent on the next call, but that, that, that those bodies typically aren't really good. Yeah. Till ferocious. Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there he is, ferocious. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. It was All right. Good. Next we have Sarkon Fireblood. One red red for a uh, legendary planeswalker Sarkon. Starts with three loyalty. Uh, it's plus one. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. It's another next plus one is add two mana in any combination of colors. Spend this mana only to cast dragon spells. And minus seven, create four five five red dragon creature tokens with flying. I'm pretty sure this is a five. I, I'd say it's a high four or five because one ability is kind of useless if you don't have any dragons. Yeah. But the plus one to j rummage every turn is perfectly okay yeah. and that ultimate's just gonna win you the game yeah no this card's great card advantage and limited is always something you're super high on even if it's like oh i have to discard like like early game like if you actually get this off in turn three which i don't even know if i want to play this like on cur it could, could ult on turn what seven okay uh like even on turn three like even if you have to discard something from your hand like there's probably something you're like this card probably isn't worth a sarkon ult yeah but no, it's it, it's fine. It's fine. It, like, it's very very good. It, it, but he he's compared to the rest of the walkers. It's fine for the rest of the walkers. Yeah, this card is bonkers and limited, guys. He'll limited, it, it will yeah, it will. You'll win the game off this card. Yeah, yeah. But Sarkhan's unsealing. Three and a red for an enchantment. Oh oh boy. Whenever you cast a creature spell with power four, five, or six. It deals 4 damage to any target. Whenever you cast a creature spell with power 7 or greater, it deals 4 damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Note that that is not symmetrical. It's only theirs. <laughs> hey, did we not just see a 7-3 earlier? It's like there's the 7-3, there's the 4-2. Like, this card actually has some uses. Oh, some? This is inc this is insane to me. I think this is a four. The issue I have with this card is, it's one of those like turn four nothings, and those always feel awful. Yeah, but turn four nothing, turn five here dome you for four or kill a thing just because I played a creature. Hopefully, I, oh, you better have a four drop in here. Otherwise, yeah, this card is the worst four drop I've ever seen in my life. You kind of really have to build your deck around You can this card. play this and then into Demanding Dragon. Oh my... Yeah, okay, guys. Just open rare and... Was Demanding Dra Dragon also rare? Yeah. Open double rare red. No, but that, that'd be actually be insane. Windmills... Sarkons on ceiling, play Sarkons on Ceiling, turn 5, Demanding Dragon. You, you dome their creature or whatever, like, deal 4 to it because it's to any target, and then Demanding Dragon comes down, and they have they have to take five. It, it... I'm, I'm per okay, this card seems great. I'm personally on high three, low four, only because it really demands you having to build a deck around it, and to turn four oh, yeah. or nothing. Yeah, for sure. okay. but high three, high three is fair. I'd high say. three, so definitely like look out for this card. You will die to this card, uh, but if you pick up this card, really hard build a deck around this. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. And that effect Hopefully is just so cool. And before the person directly to your right to pick, picked up 
core claw. They just taking every four and higher powered creature they can find in the format. Like they know, <laughs> they pass it and then proceed to cut you on every card in the set. Yikes! Next we have Shock. <gasps> One red mana deals two damage to any target. Instant speed. I'm shocked. I don't know what what what, what number what, what 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 how many stars would we give this? I'm thinking high three. I, I'd say three is pretty fair. It's removal. Removal is always going to be super high up there. Only two yeah. damage is kind of meant, but it does get everything in the early game, and it's only one mana, so it's better. Like it's better than all the other one mana removal spells we've seen this set. Because <laughs> not only does this kill so all one CMC creatures, all the artifacts you're probably going to care about also are less than two toughness. Yeah, it's very, it's good. Just, just, just take it. Just take it. Just take like, it. Who take cares? It. You guys take it. All right, Siege Breaker Giant, three black, black for a six three with trample. Also, target creature for three and a red target creature can't block this turn. Yeah, this card seems really good. I would put it as a three. Three, I yeah, three might go higher. Uh, My game is just a mana sink to, and then combat is impossible for them, and you mm -hmm. just. Turn everything sideways. Stat I'm not dabbing. Stat <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go to combat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, this card, the stat wise, this card is whatever. But that ability can definitely win you some things, like a make blocks really uncomfortable for your opponent. But yeah, it no. triggers sarcons on ceiling. Oh my goodness! Uh, sorry, I, I misclicked the five star button. This card's fine. Oh my. Okay. Next, we have Smelt. One red mana, destroy target artifact, instant speed. So, in previous sets where you've seen this <laughs> card, this card was like a one, potentially lower. There are a lot of thopters this set. I don't think it's worth it, Zill. This is definitely something... It's a sideboard it's card. A, this it's... is a sideboard. But it, I'm still going to put it as a one. Could go up. We could see a lot of good artifact synergies. Uh, but... Definitely something you sideboard. Don't run a main deck. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the other five mana dragon. Oh, yeah. Three red red for a 3-3. Three, three. Everyone's favorite card, Thunderbreak Regent, got a friggin' nerf. Uh, so it's got flying. Uh, and then when it enters the battlefield, you may play two and a red. When you do, it deals three damage to any target. But they so they couldn't put kicker on this card. <laughs> No, because it's not a mechanic in the set. And Zendikar Resurgent def no, not Zendikar Resurgent. Uh, Zendikar's Royal definitely doesn't have landfall. Actually, it's it just has landfall. It's slightly <laughs> different than Kicker. Yeah, it's... Kicker is when you cast it. This is upon entering the battlefield. So, like, if they counter it, you don't have to pay the extra three, which is yeah. kind of interesting. This is definitely time... still like a three or four, actually, though. Yeah, it's it, regardless of how worse it is than other cards in the set. It's still a 5-mana 3-3 three, three flyer that can potentially dome them for 3. Not even dome. Like, this is to any target. You can kill a creature. Yeah, this is a removal yeah. spell attached to a dragon. Yeah, no, it, it's perfectly okay. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, like, high 3, low 4. What do you? What about you? I, I'd say 3. I'd say All 3 right. is com I'm comfortable Def with three. Definitely, like, removal spell on creatures are typically good. This one's a little expensive, but late game, like, this will definitely be a board swing in your favor. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, we found my mixtape. Oh. Anyway. It's one it's star. Spit, spit <laughs> that pun was one star. Spit Flame. Two in a red, instant speed, rare. Spit Flame deals four damage to target creature. So it's literally just better electrify at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also has, whenever a dragon is a battlefield under your control, you may pay red if you do return Spit Flame from your graveyard to your hand. Guys, this is recurring we've seen removal. Plenty, we, we've seen plenty of dragons. This is recurring removal. Enough that you're gonna, probably going to get at least one more cast off of this, okay. and it's just... Let, let, let's go over how this kind of works. Bare minimum, it's better Electrify. We already gave yeah. Electrify high three. So, yeah. right now, this card's probably a four. Also, oh, there's a yeah. chance of it recurring. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if there's going to be enough dragons in red, though. Oh, wait. Like, all of them. We've seen, like... We've seen four? Um... You're not on this train? 
I'm on a high four, not quite five though. You don't like recurring removal? I'd I'd well, like I, windmill I, slam that, recurring removal. Well, that's the thing. Like you need you do need to have found the dragons to have to make this recurring. All right. And sure, you'll probably find one, but at the same time, this isn't going to unless you find a lot of dragons. This isn't going to win you the game, which is what I think five should be. I think. And it's though, this is definitely game. very good. I think it's gonna win me the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gonna go up with this one, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll go down just to appease you because I definitely think this is at least a four. Uh, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, just very definitely good. solidly a four. Solidly, I can see, I can understand the argument for a five. I just am not not feeling the five I'm myself. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm all in. Okay, I'm all in. I'm all in. Let's go. All right, sure strike. I was sure strike about the last card, not so much about this one. Why in a red for an instant? Target creature gets plus three plus seven gains first strike until end of turn. Okay. It's a perfectly fine combat combat yep. trick. It's very annoying. It's very... <laughs> I mean, this will basically make you kill almost anything. And almost several things as well, if they want to yeah. throw more than one thing under the bus. Yeah, probably three for this card. Might be higher, but... Uh, it's still a combat trick, and you don't want too many of those. Right, but so... based on the other combat tricks, I'm... I mean, it's Fair. not like I, I guess most I, I combat guess most combat high. tricks we still like high two low three like even like just plus two plus two. This card also is its power and its first strike. Like that's a lot of things we're getting for two. Yeah, more. very good value. Okay, next we have Tectonic Rift, which I believe is another reprint. Yeah, I don't remember what last time it was printed though. I don't know. Three and a red sorcery, uncommon. Destroy target land. Creature without flying can't block this turn. So these effects have always been very odd, because you need to be against a non-flying deck. So in some in some matchups, it's going to be a dead card, and in limited, you don't want really want a card that's going to be dead in some matchups. So the reason that we can't remember what set this card was from is because we didn't play them that set. Well, because no one ever plays it. Is My it? point is, I've gotten got, I've gotten got by seismic shift in Dominaria before, but that was a special. Actually, thing. this might be shadows. Or is this BFC? It was one of those two sets. I remember this around that era. Well, BFC had something that dealt one damage to all creatures that flying. So it wasn't BFC. Block. It's probably shadows then. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember. But we're we're getting off off course here. Uh, it it. It's a one. It's very much just a punishing card. You, you you punish them for already being behind. Yeah, this is like you, it's good when you're ahead and really bad when you're behind. But why would you yeah. play a card when you're like this? This card's not good. It's I, I don't know. I, I I'd give this a one. Yeah, it's, it's just it's, not, it's not impressive to me. Yeah, def. I mean, obviously, like it can win you games. So it's like, no, no, guys, don't play this card. Oh my god. Okay, guys, <laughs> let me. I love this card so much. Thud. <laughs> Single red sorcery. As an initial cost of the spell, sack a creature. Thud deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to any target. There's a 7 3 in this format. There's also Lava Axe. I'm playing, I'm playing Lava Axe over this card. Oh, of course you are! I don't know there's, no, there's, there's no discussion about that. I don't know if I want to play this card. I'm. I'd be on on like flame was played, but that was in some speed. Yeah, I, I, I I'd still put this at like a a low two. I'd still pick this up. Okay, I can, as like a twenty third. I, I can agree with that. It's the issue is like instant speed was huge for uh, cards like um flame. flame because it was like oh your opponent wants to kill us anyway I might as well throw it at your face while I have the opportunity to. And while I've definitely won cards with quote unquote sorcery speed flame. The utility of Fling was so much better. This yeah, card is no. just... Sick. I love it. I love it so much. But this I is, don't yeah, think it's, it's going to do it's hilarious. too much. Anyway. Next we have Tormenting Voice. One in a red, sorcery. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card. Draw two cards. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, probably a two It's for always me. been fine. It's a, yeah, I'd say two uh, as well. The fact that I do... Uh, Discarding I do like the art hurts. that they brought back. Yeah, discarding first hurts. But yeah, it's still drawing two. It's a two for two, yeah. right? It's, it's it's another cycle kind of concept. But you're yeah, pretty, like it's just card draw. Uh, it's worth divination, but if you're in if you're not in blue and you're in red and another color, you're still fine with worst divination mm -hmm. because you can just sacrifice a land like game and still get two cards. It's yeah, you can just 
screw this land. Yeah. Um. Oh boy. Two and a red. Instant speed. We got Trumpet Blast. Attacking creatures get plus two plus zero until end of turn. Do not misread this card. It does not just say your creatures. It's attacking creatures. It does not say your creatures get plus two plus zero. If the opponent is attacking, you're pumping their creatures. Just in case you want to kill yourself faster. Yeah. So. In which case, that'd be that's like some kind of BM. But there's already inspired charge, right? I don't know where we yes. gave that. Did we give that a two or a three? I think we gave that a three, because because we we looked at all the token stuff and we were like, cool. But I, I still give this a, a high two because mm -hmm. it jump and blast has always been good. You just need to know when to cast it. The other issue is obviously we already talked about the attacking part. That's already a condition that has to be met. Also, red doesn't have as many tokens as white does. So yeah, but it, it's had plenty of plenty of creatures that you're fine giving. You know, extra, like, oh yeah, I can't wait to get my seven to. three plus two plus zero. Oh, it has that trample extra two damage through. There's, we've saw we've get seen em. several flyers. We're gonna get no, them, dude. This, this, is, this is going to end games. This is gonna end games. Whether whether it kills you or it kills your opponents, it will it will end games. Yeah, yeah. no, it's definitely a perfectly fine card. I prefer Inspire Charger for this, but no, this is definitely win you games. It's pretty fine. Who is this man? Viashino Viashino Pyromancer. One in a red for a 2 1, so it's a Piker. Creature Viashino Wizard. Okay, what are the Viashino? Anyway, when Viashino Pyromancer enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to target pl player or Planeswalker. I'd say this is fine. This is a good card. Yeah, it's fine. It's a 2-1 that shocks them. What it's reminding me of something. I can't put my, like, finger on it. Is it from Dominaria? No. Like, just, like, the art. Like, something about that face is really, really getting Yeah. Caught. It's, it's like this crazy lizard thing. Anyway, this is probably a 2. Yeah, I'd say 2. It's fine. So, something you're probably going to put into your deck. Might, might get some extra damage in, but it's just a piker. Yeah. Playable pikers. Oh boy. Volcanic Holy Dragon. Crap. Four red red for a 4-4 four, four dragon with flying and haste and one of my favorite arts. You're playing this card. I'm playing, you're playing this card. Guys, hey, it's dragons. There's a lot of dragons things we're already talking about. B, guys, that satellite, that satellite's great. Six mana, four, four flyer. You, you're already considering it, right? Also haste. Get him. It's a, it, it's just... What would you give it? What 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 number would you give it? Three. I'd say so. Pi three. Pi yeah. three. Obviously, yeah. it's not like oh, this is gonna be first pick one, but no, this is this line games to do a lot of damage. You're gonna oh my like, god! Oh, it's this card is fantastic, and that it's art fantastic. is so nice. It's like really pick it for pretty. the artwork, guys. That's what you're. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in red, but this is pretty. Anyway, right, yeah, you're just uh, like... the, the last card of this video, uh, volley veteran, three in a red, four two. Goblin Warrior. When Volley Veteran enters the battlefield, it deals damage to our creature and opponent controls equal to the number of goblins you control. Wait a minute, I'm having deja vu. It's like the exact same card from last set, except it's a goblin, not a wizard. And it's one less mana, actually. Yeah, it, I like this card. Actually, this card is a lot better than that one. What the crud? Give me this card. Yeah. I'm playing this guy play this card. This card's fantastic. I'd say this is a three... Yeah, this card's yeah, I'm, yeah, three or a one. So but on on base, it's a four mana four two that deals one on entering. If you play literally any other goblins, this card just gets better. Yeah, and the stat line's fine. We played cards like Cabal Paladin. We weren't happy about Cabal Paladin last set, but we definitely played cards like that. It's just it, the stat line's fine, but that ability can definitely put in some work. Just given some of the goblins we've seen in the set, you're probably going to have at least one or two. Yeah, in probably. your deck, so so I guess one was probably like it possibly being a one was a bit harsh actually. I think this is probably just a two at least because you're gonna probably have one or two incidental goblins mm -hmm. and a three at best because at most because if you build if you're building goblins straight up, then it might dome them for like five. Now, if you're playing your opponent in limited and he plays siege gang commander into this card, call a judge because that's legal. I don't think they need just to tell him that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that was the red cards. 
Next, we will be tackling green. And then, and, so ever, and then like, green. I don't know what to call the last video, like, the the, the rest. <laughs> like, magic tutorial. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything else. Thank you for watching. His, his channel's in the description down below. All my stuff's in the description down below. Check it out. We'll have a good time. All right. Ciao. Have a good night, guys.